beforehand that this was the final home game or during the game or after the game? Um, uh, Maybe during warm-ups, right before the game, I was thinking about it. It's just hard to grasp. You know, I might think about it because people say something to me, but it's not like I feel like it is. So I think those are things that you look back on maybe later when you're, you know, it's time to go to a game and you're not going, and then you think about it. Um, a lot of home victories here over the years, not uh, especially in this building because this building's only been here a couple of years, but uh, any that stand out more prominent than others? Gosh, you know, there have just been so many wonderful years. I was saying to Coach Elmore, um, uh, our associate head coach tonight, I said, you know, I said, you know, you and I are the only people, and I think John Chris, that have played or coached in all three buildings. So Temple played for me when we were in Silcox and then moved over to Johnson and then coaching with me when we came over here. So that's pretty good history right there. That's, that's too many really good memories to, to pick out one. Do you feel like your team uh, might have been pressing a little bit, knowing this this was it for you as far as the, the home season? I think they're just trying hard because they always try hard. I think Saturday was uh, they had to play hard against Greensboro, and then it was an emotional day, just a lot going on uh, type of emotion because I just know that everybody I know went home and uh, fell in bed. They said even if they didn't have to do anything. So, you know, I, I just think that to come back in and play a good um, offensive team like Eagle was tough. But um, I, we, shoot, we want to win every time we go out, and they try to, we try to win every time we go out. It's been a tough season. How would you like it to end? Uh, winning the Southern Conference Tournament and making our first trip to the NCAAs, that's how I'd like for it to win. But, you know, it, it has been, if you look at our record, it does look like a tough season. When, when, I was, uh, when we were talking as coaches before we went in uh, to, to meet with our team, we were talking about the fact that, that this team really has, and I'm not just, you know, trying to be, you know, whatever. Um, this team has made us feel like it's a winning season. So it, it doesn't look like it. It, it isn't one uh, as far as record goes, but we have felt like it's one, and so I just really appreciate them for that. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all want to catch Did the girls, uh, you know, talk about it beforehand that this was Coach's last uh, home game here at the college? Yeah, we did. I know we all wanted to get the victory for Coach Wilson since it was her last game ever. Um, but, you know, without any seniors on the team, it's kind of hard because we all know we're coming back next year. And it, so it makes it, it's like a little bit different, you know, it's not like a senior night. But I know everyone really wanted to get this one for Coach Wilson since we did it against Greensboro. But I know that we all fought. We just didn't come out on top. So. Now you've played for her for a few seasons now. What can you tell us about Coach and what's that experience been like? And she's probably still in the room. So. She, <laughs> <laughs> well, she's definitely a one-of-a-kind coach. Has, like, the best sense of humor I've ever had in a coach. Um, you know, t has taught me a lot about myself and about basketball over the three years. And I know that she's leaving next year, but I'm grateful for the three years that I've had with her. And I know that the other girls, even if they've only had one season with her, just know that they're never going to have a coach that's like Coach Wilson again. So it's been a real blessing to have her.